All right. Well, I got the new fuel lines put on. Finally, I still got to clamp them down and everything. What was interesting about this uh, uh, fuel line situation was that it was sort of counterintuitive in that this would be for reserve and then this is main because this is the reserve line right here and then this is the main fuel line. Uh, so it, it seemed to me naturally that that should be reserve as it was sort of pointing like the valve was pointing towards it but I reckon not. Now um, good friend on here suggested to turn the fuel off when uh, when I'm not doing anything well here's off but as you can see you got the fuel tank right here and here's the fuel lines and then here's the cutoff so in this case you know in, in this scenario that we're talking about uh, you can shut off the fuel all you want but you lose one of these lines and you got you got gasoline everywhere um, you know, I could probably shorten this one up just a little tiny bit, but I think what I may do, I may just secure these together. I'm not sure. I don't know. Things got to work this weekend. <laughs> so it's a bit of a, a bit of a last minute dash, and also the uh, the drivability issues I've had when I went and took it on the test ride, it uh, it worked out all right. So no worries there. Wide open throttle is fine. It is a little weak for me being uh, it's a 110. And I looked up on the internet the specs for this, this poor guy. And, um, you know, it, it supposedly does 30 miles an hour. And I'm used to more modern modern quads and bikes and everything. 30 miles an hour doesn't feel very fast anymore. You know, when you're used to, uh, you know... Uh, a 325 or a 500 that can do 45, 50 miles an hour, uh, you know, 30 miles an hour doesn't feel like much. But it'll get the job done. And the, the price was right. And um, yeah. we will go from there. Thanks for watching. Figured I'd give you all an update. I know some of you guys that are tracking this close were wondering if it would be ready for this weekend on the season opener. And um, just as an aside, I ended up having to go with 3 sixteenths. 3 sixteenths fuel line as a 5.5 millimeter line was not available locally so there you have it and it's a talkie a talkie video <laughs> i miss making these and uh i appreciate y'all watching and um yeah this is a healthy daily dose so all i got left to do now is put on the i bought a universal rack to replace this grab bar back here and pull this hitch off which comes out a little too far back you see how low how low and out the back it's sitting whenever we cross over when we're getting into the woods um, it's a little tight and if i go over a log or something that would totally stick me so it's gonna have to come off for now and i'm gonna figure something out for the hitch a little bit higher a little bit closer in all right catch y'all later